Hello guys, Killer Undead here. Today, welcome to a new video. And today we're going to be reviewing the T-800 custom bionicle figure that I made. Uh, this minigun was made by Brayden Creech 2006. Make sure to go check him out. Um, and then, let me show you the model. I made two different feet styles only because this one right here makes it look like it's damaged. The head was made by me. And I'll teach you how to make it if uh, you have enough uh, the exact pieces we're looking for. And, uh, yeah, so um, let's show you how we made it. While I'm taking him apart, uh, I'm going to be announcing some stuff I'm going to be doing in later on days. Uh, soon I'm going to be streaming The Trip Become Human. And then uh, I'm also going to be... Streaming some, uh, some uh, other games like that. Yeah. So. You're gonna wanna start, this is like a basic, it's not the simple. So you're gonna start off with this. I'm gonna put a piece right here and right here. And then uh, you're gonna wanna grab uh, one of these pieces. You can get them with normal radical figures and put it right there. That way it is making it able to um, Curve up his body if you want to. You can also uh, make it go down a bit. So put it right here. But then you'd have to figure out a way to equip the front body. Makes it look a bit more professional though. So I'm going to do it that way. And then in order to make the front of the body. You're going to need another one of these pieces. And you're going to want to put it right here. Now since I have put... Um, the required piece that I need um, right here. That means I cannot connect the uh, Lego completely. So just be aware you do that. But it, in, uh, it is also very high up. So we can also resort to um, putting it lower, which we would possibly be able to make another edge for. So you want to do that, and then that, and then now you have the body, and let's get on. So, now we're going to start attaching the limbs. First, what you want to do is you want to put a small size thing right here. Use a normal foot, and then put a smaller size right here with a little thing to make it taller. Then put a big, huge silver piece on the leg to give it a bit of coverage. And then, obviously, you're going to attach it to the body. I don't know why that was so... Why is that so difficult to put the leg on? Okay, anyways, now I have one leg. Now, for the other leg, since we, I didn't have the correct pieces, what I did was I used a very, like, a bigger, bit bigger piece. And then make a... Uh, have a bigger piece and then smaller leg. Um, still works the same, still works pretty well. Connect it to the base of the body, and now you have the legs. Now we are going to create the head before we like, create the arms. So use these pieces, you can find them in like Batman sets. They can connect to normal blocks. Uh, then use a red crosshair piece, and then a piece that can connect to the head. Use almost like a goggle looking piece. I got this from a Lego, the Lego movie set. The huge tanker one or uh yeah then use a black uh thing that can connect with and uh, you can get this from the Django Fett set from the jetpack and then since it is the same size you can just snap it on like that and then since it's a joint you can touch the head like that and like so so now for the arms i use two silver pieces and they're all the same height so i'm not going to show you how i made the other one because they're the same uh length and width 
so other than that the legs are already completed or the arms are already completed and the legs are completed and then brought to you by Destro Kid is the minigun or the Gatling laser it's pretty cool looks pretty nice and I still think for this and if you see in the movies the T-800s or the T-60s or uh, the endoskeletons at least the endoskeletons of the Terminators in like the uh, r the uh, world that Reese Reese Kyle Reese goes to and voila we officially have the T-800 or T-60 or whatever gen it's a Terminator endoskeleton overall it looks pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Once again, thank you to Deathstroke Kid for the extra pieces and for the uh, extra touch.